Hi and welcome to Upgrad's Career in Short series on Machine Learning and AI. I'm Rohit and I'm an AI researcher and founding member at Cure.ai. It's an AI for medical imaging startup. And in this video, we are going to talk about what is machine learning and sort of a, you know, get your broader picture of the topic. But hold on. I mean, haven't we all heard a lot, I mean, a lot about machine learning. Like, you look at every article that probably exists on internet and there's someone talking about what is machine learning. But let me kind of make this journey easier for you. So I'm just going to briefly give you an idea about what is machine learning and kind of sort of separate the hype from the rest of the things. So machine learning as a topic has been existing since, guess what, 1950s, right? That's when the first sort of artificial intelligence paper came out. And since 1950s, it's, it's almost 60, 70 years that we have made a huge journey out there. Uh, when it started, uh, uh, actually it started all the way in something called data science. So data science is the broader topic. And within that, there were automation uh, techniques existing since long again, right? But then within automation techniques, there's one very particular field that sort of became popular towards late 80s uh, is what is machine learning, right? And machine learning in its current form, uh, let me give you an example to kind of make this easier for you, right? So let's take an example of algorithmic trading, right? Uh, in algorithmic trading, uh, if, before people were even trading on algorithms, people were probably down on floors, right? That was 1900s. People would be on the floor taking orders. That's how trading worked. Uh, and then people thought, hey, that's not, that's not a good idea. I mean, we can probably automate that and make money better. And so that's when algorithmic trading came along, right? So it's automated uh, trading and you can look at buy, sell prices and take a right away call whether, you know, the algorithm should take a position in a stock or not. So that was automated. So you had a set of rules. You said that, uh, hey, if the price crosses this much, if the volume crosses this much, let's go and pick that stock. So that was what rule-based uh, automation looked like back in the 1980s. And then someone smart obviously came up and said that, hey, I don't want to pick up the rules myself. I want a machine to kind of look at an entire set of data and figure out the rules by itself. And that's exactly what machine learning is all about. You have a lot of data, you feed into a machine, and it sorts of learn to pick up the patterns that exist in the data, right? So if it's algorithmic trading, then it's probably picking up those rules around uh, when to ex enter a trade, when to exit a trade. If it's about, say, picking up uh, abnormalities from medical images and the machine is learning, sort of looking at a lot of data, how the abnormality would look like. So basically giving it a lot of data and making the model, making the machine learn about uh, how to go about pattern recognition. So that's broadly what machine learning is all about. Now, obviously, I get also asked this question a lot of times, you know, uh, what, I mean, how do I actually go on about it? What are the sort of things that I would need on the way to kind of complete my journey? Uh, so first thing up, languages, right? What are the languages that you need to know for you to be uh, proficient in machine learning? Uh, one, uh, I mean, there are obviously multiple languages, frankly, in computer science, and you sort of, in today's world, can pursue machine learning in any one of them. So there's not a a uh, single diktat which says that, you know, just do it in one language and that's about it. But then uh, there are preferred languages and there are not so preferred languages. For example, uh, there is R, which is normally used in scientific uh, research background, most of it. Uh, that is used because uh, it it's normally has a lot of packages which support statistical calculations. Uh, so if you're someone who's sort of coming from a statistical background and you already have familiarity with R, good. You probably can start off machine learning right away. You can probably look up packages and get this started. Uh, but then for most of the people who, if you are not familiar with coding at all, or if you're not familiar with computer science or statistics or any of it, don't worry. Python has got your back. So Python is the most, uh, I would say, versatile language that probably exists in computer science as of now. I mean, you could use it for machine learning. You could use it for, you know, interface. You could uh, use it for website building. Uh, you could use it for backend. I mean, there are loads of places where you can use Python. And that's why the general popularity of Python in being used uh, as, as a language for machine learning as well. So machine learning, most of the, I would say, cutting edge algorithms, uh, cutting edge libraries are implemented in Python. Uh, so, I mean, if you're actually planning to kind of take the plunge, Python might be actually a good place to start off. Uh, 
apart from that, uh, broadly, what are the sort of, you know, how do you actually, if you are, I, another question that sort of comes my way is that if I'm someone who has, uh, you know, never done maths or, you know, what is the level of maths that I would actually need to kind of get started in machine learning? Uh, again, uh, it depends on the amount of depth you want to cover. I mean, there are, there are sort of customers for each depth. So if you're someone who's really proficient in maths and you have been uh, doing the advanced calculus since your probably, I don't know, school level, uh, and you think you want to go the distance, you can go the distance. But for others who are probably not as comfortable and you are just probably, uh, you know, who probably was afraid of maths, you know. And then in those cases also, you don't need to worry. You can still get started in machine learning and, you know, cover the distance. You don't need to go to the entire depth. You need to have some basic understanding, some basic maths, uh, and we'll cover that as well. Uh, that's part of the upgrad course as well. So if you do that, uh, you should be able to go ahead and uh, complete the entire ecosystem of machine learning. And for others, you don't need to worry as well. I mean, there's obviously you can just understand some basic part of maths, obviously that you need to do and that's part of the upgrads career course as well. Uh, but if you can cover that, uh, then well, I can assure you that you would be absolutely fine during the machine learning journey. So all said and done, machine learning is really easy uh, to get started with. It just actually all you need is sort of a drive to get started in the journey. Rest everything would be taken care of. So if you have any doubts, please write in the comments below. We'll definitely try and address them in this series. And if you found this video useful, like, share and subscribe to our channel. We'll be back with more such amazing content. Also, if you want to learn new skills or move ahead in your career, check out upgrad.com.